today I'm off to SBAS out towards Marin Lake. There's a shop that does flash tune, remapping, all that stuff. We're off to get that done to the bike today with the Woolridge flash. I seen some stuff online and it looked really freaking good. <laughs> the videos they posted flashing bikes. They had a Z400 that sounded boosted and oh man, it sounded so nice. It wasn't boosted, it's just, I don't know, the way that it sounded. Oh, did we mess up? Son of a bitch. I'd have been better off going to that one than doing this. Oh, pay attention. <laughs> How far do I gotta go to before I can turn around? Fuck me, man. I'm, I didn't leave in time to get lost on the way. I used to do that and leave early just in case I got lost, but I stopped doing it. I know how to get there. I just missed my turn. Let's put it in our nav. I don't know. Maybe they can find us a better way to get turned around. Let's just turn this off. Oh yeah, 1240, so I'm actually still early. I got turned around in Mandaluyong somewhere around Shaw Boulevard. Now we are up here in Kogio. We're almost there. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but I know it's close to here. There it is. I think it's under these trees. SBAS. A little bit early, but not much. There's a the girl I've been talking to. Hello. Hello, sir. How you doing? Take a seat, man. Sit there first time visiting here. Yes, sir. What's up? We made it to SBAS. I'm getting my bike tuned, flashed, remapped, all that with the Woolwich system. And they're checking out the new Denali horn. <laughs> actually brought it somewhere to be worked on and it's clean this time. Can you believe that? He said he's gonna make me like, I know, 58 horsepower extra. Can you both? Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, before we get to the remapping, we're gonna rev it and stuff. yesterday at Orion and they re they took apart my muffler repacked it oh, fixed it they did my uh, my full system yeah they, they're the ones that referred me here yeah To ride it more to get feedback because the computer is going to save some of uh, uh, how the bike's acting when they hook it back up they can check i'd be much more out to do this if uh, i didn't have a bent rim especially coming out here yeah it feels real smooth taking off like that really how am i to test ride a bike when i need to eat heat no leaning conte so brown conte very very little sounds super smooth they also told me that don't lean on this tire so one person told me it's okay two different people told me no 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 not okay not pushing too hard but hit 109 in second gear there we go ehe na ehe Ooh. <laughs> he dance.
Ah, I feel a, bit, a little bit better now. What do you think it'll hit in second gear? <laughs> 113 in second gear. Okay. A little bit more than last time, but not much. I don't want to push it too hard. I know the rev limiter is higher than that, but that sounded like plenty. Sounded and felt like plenty. That's good. That's good because before I used to hit the rev limiter because it didn't feel like it needed to shift yet. Now it's going to feel like it needs to shift before I hit it. Ah, raining. Well, that's enough for me. I'm turning around. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. See you guys. Oh, yeah, that's way better. That's super smooth, and you can, you can feel the power now. So when I went back, the last ride I took was for them to tune it, for them to gather information for tuning it. I guess they call it a ride tune or something. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I told him when I got back, I was like, I can't really tell if there's more power or not. It feels smoother. And I know the smoother it gets, the less you'll notice that it's more powerful. But, oh yeah. Oh shit, yeah. It's more powerful. So yeah, when I told them that, they said it didn't seem like I was happy. So they went back into the remapping and changed some settings and added more horsepower through that through the Woolrich. So I don't know how much horsepower it's got, but now I can definitely tell the difference. Yeah. Super smooth and power. Worth the money. It cost uh, 15k for the flash tune and remapping. I would definitely say it's worth the money. I know someone that went somewhere else and got it done, same bike. He doesn't have a full exhaust system. He just had a slip on and they dyno tuned his, but they said he only gained like 1.5 horsepower. That's crazy. I don't think they tried to give him any power on his. They're just like, nope, this is what the factory feels is safe. We gotta say he gained something. Give him one and a half. Oh my gosh. I know I hurt my gains by putting that silencer in, but it's worth it because before it was just way too freaking loud. And that's fun sometimes, but it's not fun all the time big thank you to the guys at sbas thank you woolrich liking the way your product feels damn this this really feels good i need to get that new rim if you have this bike go to sbas have them do what they did to mine tell them you want it the same way mine was done Ha, 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 ha.